For today's project, let's head down to the local lumber yard. It's time to grab some scrap wood. What I did was I grabbed a nice big thick board for the base and a 4x4 post. Put it right in the middle, but how do we attach it? Well, I use some corner braces. And you can use all four in the package that comes. I discovered that I can just need two, but I gotta make sure I drill some pilot holes. These will keep the board from splitting when I put the screws in. Just a small little drill bit with a drill will work great. Doesn't take much. The corner braces come with the screws. It makes it perfect. Once I get it into the base, I'll slide the post right up, pre-drill it, and go ahead and install the screws where they need to go. I put one in the front, one in the back, and it's really strong. The next thing I gotta do is I gotta put the cap on. I just don't want some bare wood on top. The way we do it is we use glue. Instead of driving a nail that you can see through the top, place it on top, give it a little bit of weight on top, and in about 30 minutes, it's solid right on top. Next, we gotta prime the wood. A lot of people like to just go ahead and paint first. I like to prime. It gives the paint something to stick to, and you don't have any peeling later. So I took it outside, of course, and just put some cardboard underneath and just prime every bit of wood. It actually looks really good once you get the primer on there. Once it's primed, let's bring it inside and look at that. It looks amazing. Just two coats will be great, but we're not done yet and we gotta make this look good. Let's take some two inch tape and start wrapping it all around the post at an angle. Just take it all the way up. Take your time, we want this to look good. Make sure the sides of the tape are sealed though. We don't want any paint getting underneath. I think you know where I'm going with this. I need to grab some red paint, put it all out right there, and I grab my handy foam brush and go ahead and start painting. Now, you'll see I don't paint up towards the tape. I paint away from it. I don't want any bleed under underneath that tape. I want some nice crisp lines. We want to make sure that we get two good coats, but make sure it dries really nice in between the coats. Once you get those coats on, start peeling that tape off. It's actually kind of fun. I use this uh, swinging board that I made earlier and go ahead and just peel all the tape up. It gave some nice crisp lines. I thought it turned out pretty good. If you need to do some touch up paint, go ahead and do it. Now we got to put some hooks on. I just need three. Again, just like we did with the braces, we're gonna mark our holes, pre-drill, and go ahead and install it. I put these at random spots on the post to hang the stockings. Once you put it in, let's go put it in place. And just look at that, it's nice and strong, and it turned out beautiful. A lot of us don't have fireplaces, and this works great. I hope you enjoyed this DIY stocking stand. Can't wait to see you guys again on Home Talk. Time to run down to Dollar Tree and grab you some inexpensive picture frames. We're going to need a few of these. First thing we got to do is take these frames, lay them out. We're going to need quite a bit, but we also need some fabric. These are my four favorite, and we need a variety. Take that first picture frame. We're going to turn it over. We got to take the back off because we don't need the picture inside. We can just go ahead and take that back right off. And we're going to also remove the glass. We can save that glass for another project another time. Go ahead and put the back back on. And we're going to flip that over. Look at that. It is ready to go to cover in fabric. Pull that first cloth over. And we're going to leave about an inch to an inch and a half surrounding the frame. We need this to help glue it over. Once you get your piece cut, turn it back over. Lay it down. Start gluing down the side. As you can see, you want to get right up next to the edge, and we're going to lay the fabric right over. Now be careful. That hot glue is hot, so go gently on it. Make sure you don't burn yourself. Once you get that one side done, flip it back over, run a bead of glue right against the top again, pull it over, and we're going to just hold it in place. It sets up pretty quick. Now we got that. Let's don't forget about the tops, but we're going to fold this like a Christmas gift. Right there, just fold the ends over and pull it right on over. And look at that, it grabs just a couple of gentle pushes right there and it stays there. Now look at this, it is looking good. Now we're gonna go ahead and cover four of our picture frames. These are my favorite fabrics and they are looking good. Now it's time to put them together. 
The first two are going to go right next to each other, but we need what we call a hinge. We can again use some extra fabric. Just cut it off about an inch for each side. Run that hot glue right down the side. Put that first piece on, but we're going to overlap it. You only put about half on. Again, some gentle love taps on that glue. Make sure it sets in place. Once it dries, go ahead and pull it back. Pull the other picture frame right up next to it. And we're going to run some glue down that edge too. Once that glue is on there, quickly but carefully lay that other fabric right over. That is going to put both of these together. And look at that. You're going to have a nice hinge that holds it together. The second one, every other one though, it's going to be a little different. When we put this glue down, our strip of fabric is going to be a lot wider. Again, just put it down halfway, but this time take two of the picture frames and you're going to put both faces together just like that because we're going to put the glue and wrap it over the back. Once you do that, just put it on over, hold it in place, make sure it sets up really nice. It needs to stay strong. But here's the reason we do this. As you fold it up, one end goes like that. Look at this. We fold it the other way because we want to make this easy for storage. Now we've only got three here, but it's time to make some more. I had to use 10 of these. And look at, they store up really nice. But this Christmas, we don't want it stored. We're going to go ahead and start placing it around our Christmas tree. Look how beautiful that turned. It is just so lovely and it makes a nice tree collar. I hope this inspired you to build your own Dollar Tree tree collar. Cut up varying pieces of PVC pipe to create a unique Christmas tree holiday decoration. Start by cutting a bunch of pieces of PVC pipe. I used one, one and a half, two, and three inch pipes and cut them each two inches wide. After all your pieces are cut, add a quick coat of spray paint. Now it's time to paint your ornaments. I chose four different colors from red to light pink to create an ombre effect. Before painting, I laid out the pieces to get a general idea of the placement, then separated out by color so I knew how many of each size to paint. I also took a picture so it'd be easy to recreate. While your ornaments dry, prepare your background. Make sure to give the wood a good sanding. Stain the wood that you'll use for the background. You could also paint if you prefer. If staining, remember to wipe off any excess so the color isn't too dark. Once everything is dry, it's time to lay out your tree. Be sure the different sizes are evenly distributed and use those smaller pieces to fill in where needed. Before attaching the PVC pieces to the backing, use hot glue to attach the painted ornaments. You can do an ombre design like I did, or come up with your own colors and patterns. Lastly, use a strong adhesive like Gorilla Glue to attach the PVC pieces in place. I hope this video inspired you to create your own PVC tree this holiday season. See you in my next video!